Hey there, Mary Sheila here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make my delicious rosemary walnuts. They are the best. They're so good on salads. They're so good on, you know, just as a little bit of a snack or on top of a greens or veggies or grains, anything like that. Um, these walnuts have been soaked, sprouted and dehydrated. And I have a whole mini class on soaking and sprouting, which you're welcome to check out and go through that class so you learn about best food preparations for best absorption, assimilation, and digestion, especially if you have an autoimmune. So these walnuts, again, have been dehydrated and they're really crispy and a little bit salted, um, so they're delicious. And then I have some fresh rosemary. Um, and so in general, you know, I like my nuts to be more on the raw side or at least um, be not roasted and cooked and heated up at high temperatures. But when I do it myself, I'm more in control of that temperature. So I know how hot it has gotten. And so, you know, I'd say 80% of the time I eat my nuts just like this, but I just love making them kind of fun. So I have my pan on, I just have a cast iron. You can use any kind. And I'm just gonna put my nuts in here. It's about a cup of nuts. And, you know, I want it to be um, like a single layer. So I don't necessarily want to make too many. So if I was gonna make more, I could put them in a bigger pan. So I'm just gonna let them sit for a minute. And then meanwhile, I'm gonna get my rosemary ready. I just went and picked this. And of course, this is way more than what I need. But now I can have this sitting around. I can tie a rubber band and tie it on a wall to keep it to dry. Sometimes people get those fresh bundles of herbs and they keep them in the fridge and then they go bad. But when you buy those herbs and you know it's more than what you're gonna use in the next few days, just leave them out. You can just lay them on a plate, let them dry, and you can use them that way. And if they once they become crispy dry, you can just put them in a jar. So I'm gonna take one of these and just strip the leaves off of the stem and so I have nice loose leaves and I might be kind of going for it a little bit because I just love it, but it's about a, it's gonna be around maybe a two teaspoons, half, almost a tablespoon. I'm gonna keep an eye on my nuts and I can even go ahead and just toss them up like this. And the idea is that I don't wanna burn them, but I just wanna toast them and make them nice. I can even start to smell them. And I'm just gonna come in here with my rosemary and just go ahead and chop my rosemary. Again, super wonderful herb that rosemary is. It's very uh, aromatic, antimicrobial, really good for the brain, really good for circulation. Um, so when you add, and digestion. So when you add things like rosemary or oregano, tarragon, I mean, there's so many different herbs you can add. What you're doing is you are really stimulating your digestion and your circulation. So hence, it's good for the brain, good for digestion. You know, it gets our digestive juices going and that's going to support digestibility of anything that we're eating. So it's really a great way to go. So my nuts are getting close, my walnuts. And I can smell them a little, I've got the heat on. I had the heat on a little bit at the beginning. And then what I'm gonna do when I'm ready to uh, turn them off is I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil. I have a teaspoon of olive oil in there. I'm gonna throw my rosemary and a little salt and I'm gonna just mix that all up. So that way, I, yes, I'm getting my olive oil hot, but I'm not gonna cook it anymore once I throw the olive oil in there. I try my best to not cook with those kind of oils. I mean, I do, but uh, but most of the time, I don't. So maybe you've heard me talk about 80-20. 80% of the time, I try to do things that are best practices for optimal digestion for my immune system. And then 20% of the time, I say, oh, you know, this tastes delicious, and this is what I want, and this is how I'm gonna have it. And I'll just talk a little bit for a moment why I soak and sprout and dehydrate. Now, it's so interesting. Years ago, I never ate walnuts because it would give me a canker sore. But then one day I learned that you can sprout them and dehydrate them. When I learned about that, I learned about it from one of my students. And she said, the only way I can eat walnuts and not get a canker sore is when I soak, sprout and dehydrate them. And I was like, "Woo, 
what? <laughs> hold, hold the floor. What did you just say? And that's when I learned how to do it. Um, and it's, I've never gone back and I really don't eat them when they're raw very often because I will still get a canker sore. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off. I'm going to sprinkle my olive oil in here. You'll probably hear a little sizzle. I'm gonna mix it up and then I'm gonna add my rosemary as well. Now it's gonna really get sizzly and smelling good. And I really wanna do a quick stir so that everything gets equally coated with the oil and the rosemary. And then while it's hot, I'm gonna add my salt. And I'm just gonna pinch it in there. The only problem with making these is sometimes I end up eating too many of them. You know, people have a harder time eating raw nuts and seeds versus when they're roasted and salted and oiled. They're just more addictive. You know, got more of the dopamine factors going on. So my heat's off. My, no my nuts are still getting a little toasted, but now they're mixed with the, with the rosemary and the salt and the oil. I'll let them cool down and then they're a perfect addition to a side dish, as a snack, as an appetizer, maybe with some olives. Um, and also uh, they're delicious in a salad, which I show you in this video. Okay, well, thanks for watching and let me know if you make any rosemary walnuts or what other herbs you like to use on your walnuts. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell for notifications and you can see when I go live next time. Mm -hmm.